Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 6. In this segment, we're going to buy us a car, so let's do some searching here. First up, F Class, and then we can search within this F Class search for a front wheel drive car. Go all the way over to the list, and we're going to buy this Mazda Speed Familia. Apparently, it is also a, known as a protege. You know, whatever. So, yeah, it's only available in this blue. Interesting. It looks like a very, uh, it's a very Subaru car. Because of the blue in the rims, and yeah. Rip off! No, no. So, this is the car we're gonna use. Hopefully, this will go better than the uh, Firebird went. So, to the event list we go, and we are going to tackle the front wheel drive open. And stuff, so. Limited to front wheel drive cars, cars of course. Here's our opponent list. I'm actually surprised. I've only seen Muller in one series so far. It's really interesting. I'm sure we'll see him much later, a lot later in the game, but yeah. So we're going to do some slightly different tracks, but staying in the uh, the three-pack here. We're going to do Iberian Short, Normal Direction. We're going to do Ladera Short instead of the Mini Circuit, and we're going to do Camino Mini instead of the Short Circuit. So. Let's go to the Iberian circuit for race number one. And shit. I don't know. Yeah, that cha-ching sound. Menu sounds are actually pretty cool. I like them. And stuff. It's okay, Cubby. It's coming back to this game. I also feel like I don't know shit about it despite 100% completing it in the past. Hey, Blaze. But yeah. So, once this loads, we will uh, we will race. Start the event. What are you talking about? The Le Mans 24 hour? If so, eh, maybe give it a little. Uh, eh, give it a couple days. Let yourself kind of mentally recover from doing Scuba Nine Hour for you. Uh, tackle shit or tackle a 24 hour so here's our starting grid cool and stuff so let's go for the three first 360 game how does it feel to be wrong for the two was the first for the 360 game <clears throat> all right here we go That wheel spin. Bring it to the inside. Look, it's a PT loser. Okay, I'm just cutting the turn, don't mind me. Alright, so. Oh boy, we get to do the fun part of uh, Iberian. This is the fucking high speed section here. It's all bouncy and shit. And then there's this crest, which, if you're going a certain speed, going fast enough, you can get some sick air off of that. Oh yeah, we're going this way. We're doing a short course. Holy shit. Okay, we're good. Oh, Forza 3 was your first 360 game. Okay. But you didn't say it like that, so we all got confused. Get around the Hyundai of Takahashi. So I like how Davis changed his color from Forza 2. Wasn't he blue in Forza 2, I think? And he's now driving red cars in Forza 3. That feeling Davis is trying to be like Rossi. The poor soul. Living in the shadow of somebody else. What a fag. We're well, some slipstream him, which invalidates this lap. I still don't think I've gotten a single uh, validated lap in this LP, so f god damn it, I forgot again. Son of a bitch, that might cost me the win here. Unless I do a retard dive, which I'm currently doing. Yep, that was a very retarded dive, alright. I do desperate things when I get desperate. Holy shit. Okay. 
I do very stupid, desperate things. But I won the race. I didn't, like, outright cheat and cut the course, so, you know. I was just a giant asshole. So there we go. First race done. Let's go on race two. And stuff. So, ugh. Don't mind me, just getting, trying to get in a little slightly comfortable seating position. And let's go to the next race at Ladera. Short reverse. Also like how, like I said, in the, uh, the menus here, it shows the length of the race on the right, which is cool. I like that. The short course is 0.2 miles longer than the mini course. Cool. Yeah, the Mazda Exela, not Mazda 3. Exela. So, hooray. Yes, this is a Mazda Impreza. Confirmed. Blue with the rims and shit. It kind of looks like an Impreza too, like on general design. To be perfectly honest. All right, here we go. Let us do this shit, shall we? So here we go. Let me switch to interior view once we start here. So I should probably start in uh, with my middle finger, so I can use my index finger to uh, switch cameras. Going right up. Okay, going right up the middle is a very bad idea. Because Kato and Kim are dumb. Confirmed. Thanks, buddies. Appreciate it. Okay, blind turn. That I don't remember. Excuse me. Wow, I am not doing this fucking section right at all so good. For some reason I thought that was a chicane. I, I'm thinking of a completely different part of the track. Actually, I don't, even know this part, I don't even know if it's this part of the track. Fuck me. I remember this track as well. I remember Catalonia it's fucking fine, but these, uh, these tracks, not so much. Okay, this is a three-lapper, so I have a little more time to uh, catch up to Takahashi here. Which I should be able to do. Yeah, Forza Gloves, man. I think I actually have Forza Gloves on my, like, avatar. On my uh, main three like Xbox Live account. Because I'm a simpleton like that. I have like a Sonic 4 shirt and fucking. I think I have Sonic shoes as well, and then Forza, like, open finger gloves, because I'm an edge lord. I have no idea what the breaking point for this turn is, because I'm gay. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind me just beating and banging. Admittedly, I like doing this last turn going this way because the uh, the uh, higher radius turn before it makes it a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, Hyundai Tuscany. So there we go, race two complete. Easy peasy, squeezy leasy. I don't know anymore. And yeah, I got this car up to level one. Cool. <clears throat> Test ten percent discount on driveline upgrades. Ooh. Yeah, force gloves on your drivatar as well. A Lamau. Or Avatar. Not Drivatar. Anyways, to the mini Camino Viejo circuit, which is, uh. It's small. This is 11 or 12 gloves now. I believe this is 12. Because these are all three race series so far, plus the extra one from doing race one of the, uh, the E World Championship. That's gonna, 
that's one thing that's really going to be all kinds of fucked up in this LP are the world championships in the season play mode because they're split up already and I'm splitting them up even further by uh, doing the going through the events this way I, I can't win <laughs> All right, um, I'm having a very hard time winning this race. <laughs> I should have won this on my first attempt, but no. I had to go and fuck that up. Fuck up my momentum. And therefore, my victory. And now I'm just stuck in this hell where I can't. I just fucking can't this race for some reason. All right, we're off to a very, very good start here. We can actually win this time, hopefully. That'd be nice. Maybe I can tell the story about Andy this time. Because uh, I have a story about Andy in this track. Like this layout of this track, because... This... Because Camino Viejo Mini Circuit... I believe it's this direction. I'm pretty sure it's this direction and not reverse. Um, is, um... This is the track where uh, my buddy Andy, aka Hypoxia, who's a great artist on Twitch, you should totally check him out. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash the Hypoxia XP. He, uh, he has a world record on this track. Or at least he had a world record on this track. This configuration. And he did it with one freaking arm. So yeah, he has a hot lap record here. It's it's probably he probably got dethroned at, at this point, but he uh yeah that, that's the thing he's done. And that's the thing I've never been able to do is get a world record in anything. But that was some pretty cool shit that he was able to do that, even on a track like this where it's it doesn't get the most uh hot lap hot lapper attention, but it you know world record is still a world record. So, it's pretty fucking cool. And stuff, so yeah. So, there's my story about that. Yeah, I'm gonna be his world record, clearly. Except, no, I don't know how to tune cars. He tuned my hot lap cars for me. Like, not only was he a, was he a really, really, really good hot lapper, he was also a really good car tuner. Like, really really good car tuner. Like, not only could he, you know, drive cars really quickly, he could also make fucking, like, cars that would be in the top 50 in the leaderboard that you wouldn't fucking expect to be there. It's, uh... It's really cool. Makes me jelly, but yeah. Anyways, there's the front-wheel drive open finish, so... We're gonna move on to the real wheel drive open. We're doing the uh, we're we're doing the fucking uh, drivetrain opens stuff. So yeah, so with that, stay tuned for more Forza Three and in video.